Relaxation is the key for this. More important to relax than it is to stretch. Hey guys, Tony here. So I just wanna pre-frame this upcoming uh, segment. The patient, this is the patient you've been following for the past week. So today is one week post manipulation under anesthesia. He's eight weeks post surgery. So you saw him on day one in my clinic. You see him now after a week. He was prior to the manipulation, barely able to get to 183 with pressure. To, he's been consistently hitting 90 degrees now since the manipulation. His wife had mentioned during the manipulation he was able to get to 110. So you're gonna see this segment where I'm working on knee flexion. And the reason why I'm sharing these experiences with you guys is I just want you to see what other clinics are like, what other therapists do. I'm not saying one's right or wrong, better or worse. You have to take context into consideration. An 86 year old male who's had significant trauma to the knee having a knee replacement is gonna have a very different experience compared to a 36 year old who's having a knee replacement. So take all of that into consideration. I just wanna share new experiences, give you a fly on the wall perspective of what other therapists do so that you can have a discussion with your therapist if you feel like you're not getting what you need. Um, anyway, watch the video, enjoy. I'll catch you on the next one. All right. So you just relax. I'm gonna bring you back now. Is that way okay? We'll go back yeah. to the point of discomfort. It's just bending my knee like that over there. And just got what do you feel at that point? Let's, let's okay. hold it right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and you just do your best to relax. I'm just going to give you a little bit of shake. Relaxation is the key for this. More important to relax than it is to stretch. And so what I'm doing, when you think about the knee and how the knee functions, in order for the knee to bend, this bone right here, the tibia, has to roll over and slide back, right? So what you should be saying is, well, Tony, if it needs to slide back, why are you pulling it forward? How are you doing today? I'm pulling it forward to take some of the tension off of here and to desensitize some of these tissues back here. Like when I gave that a pull, I could see your face. Um, Feel better today though. We're trying to reduce some of the alarm system in there. The alarm system is the pain. The pain I is. I'm relaxed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're relaxed everywhere, but right there. there. <laughs> but that's you know, it's just like anything else. It's like you hear a car alarm when they first came out. Everybody would come running because they thought somebody was stealing a car. Now you hear it. Nobody even blinks an eye because you're just used to it. You're so used to the sensation and the pain and the guarding. You don't even think about it. You just experience it. You just feel it. It just limits you. So I'm going to take you in a little bit more. Okay. And then we'll hold it right there. Brian, holler at me when you need to pull your foot out there. Tomorrow? Are you busy? Yeah. So we're at 85 right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep your foot right where it is. I want you to wiggle the leg in and out, just like that. Perfect. I was doing that over on the bicep yeah. the other day, and, yeah. I was, and I do that at home too. So. Awesome. So the goal is... I know that's back here. A lot of that motion's from back here. So the motion starts at the hip, but what's actually happening at the knee is as you're moving this way, side to side, that's not so threatening to the brain because the brain is against flexion. The brain is like, okay, he's doing something weird. I don't know what's going on, but it's actually loosening up the knee itself. Now take a break. Now I'll give you just another oh, yeah. hair. Yeah. Lunch, Beautiful. I'm gonna keep it there. Let's do a couple more side to side. Patient over here on this one. did something. Keep yeah. going. Might well, right? Getting close. 
I'm going to show you my favorite way for you to do this at home. Um, basically what it is, you're going to sit in a chair, you're going to come up against the counter, or you're going to come up against the wall. The, the toe is going to be up against the wall, so the toe can't move. And then you just slide your bottom forward with the goal of bringing the knee to the wall. See, I was doing that at Arlington. Okay. In the wheelchair, uh -huh. up against the wall. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they weren't doing anything. Oh, like uh, right. And then I found out that I could get some movement that way. Uh -huh. And I, there again, I was, uh, I was moving sideways at the same time. Yeah, beautiful. Let's spin around and let's put that right leg up on the bench. You can lean back into the wall. 